Let's look at how to rationalize the denominator of this fraction, the square root of 7 over the square root of 45. When we get rid of the radical sign in the denominator of a fraction, we say that we have rationalized the denominator. Before we do this, let's make sure the denominator is in its simplest form. Using the reverse radical product rule, we can rewrite the denominator to show a perfect square. 45 equals 5 times 9. Since 9 is a perfect square, we can take the 9 out from under the radical sign. The square root of 9 is 3. Now our denominator is in its simplest form, so we're ready to rationalize the denominator. We'll multiply the numerator and denominator by the radical in the denominator, the square root of 5. The radical product rule lets us combine our numerators and denominators like this. The square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is equal to 5 from the definition of square root. So now we have 3 times 5 in the denominator. 7 times 5 equals 35. The number 35 does not contain any perfect squares, so the radical in the numerator is in its simplest form. And 3 times 5 is equal to 15. We have rationalized the denominator of our fraction. Because the denominator of our fraction contains no radical signs, and our expression has no radical signs with fractions, and there are no perfect squares inside our radical sign, we can also say that our fraction is in its simplest form. Visit our website www.highschoolelearning.com for free interactive lessons and to find out about our fun online courses.